hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl silly here back with another video okay we are back with a makeup tutorial today okay we got the green the yellow the forest green vibes going on today if you want to learn how to get this eye look then keep watching but before you do okay before you do i want to make sure that you guys are subscribing liking and sharing this video with your friends your family your girlfriends okay make sure you're sharing this and again to subscribe we are on our way to 100 we're on the road to 100 before we get in today's video i want to encourage you guys um i haven't been on youtube for about the past three weeks just because there was a lot of stuff going on in the world i mean i'm sure all of you guys know um just you know from coronavirus all the way to the murder of george floyd and really everything that came after it and i know it was a lot it's been a lot for me personally and um i just had to take a break um took a break from youtube i didn't want to come on here and and make videos that um you know just weren't really necessary at the time i feel like you know we needed to be using that time to um, speak our voices and, and to pray and fight for the injustices that were happening in the world and so I took a break I took a little break off of social media just because it was so much and so I want to encourage you guys you know if there is something that you see that you do not agree with that is unjust that is not right I want to encourage you guys to use your voice to use your platform you may say oh well I don't have a whole bunch of subscribers I don't have a whole bunch of followers those people who are following you those are people who are looking at you who are looking looking at your posts who are following what you do use your platform use your Facebook use your Instagram to bring light to these things that are not right that are not of God that are sinful and you know here um in, in my city here in Waco, you know, our church has been planning a couple of pray tests. Uh, we had a couple of protests in our city. And so I just want to encourage you guys, wherever you're watching this from, to do your research. Look and see what's going on in your city that you can get involved in. What laws are being passed in your city that you can stand up and fight against or fight for. Uh, and, you know, I just really want to encourage you guys with that because, you know, the ball really is in our corner and we have the power our generation has the power to fight for change and to make change and so i want to really encourage you guys with that i know it's overwhelming i know it's a lot i've been praying endlessly crying endlessly i don't understand why some things are happening my role is to be the hands and feet of jesus here on earth and if i'm doing that then i'm doing what i'm called to do and so i want to encourage you guys to get plugged in if you don't want to walk then don't walk don't go to a protest if you don't want to pray don't go to a protest if you feel like you want to donate i'm going to leave a link down below of, of an organization that i donated to that was safe it is called the 846 movement and that is um a very reliable and trustworthy website and so if that is an organization that that's something that i feel comfortable with doing if you want to do the same i'm going to leave that link down below site 846 is the uh, amount of time that the officer was on george floyd's neck before he died eight minutes and 46 seconds and so if that is something that you um want to donate to if that's something that you you know feel like you would like to do then i'm gonna leave that down below so you can go ahead and donate i already did it was safe there was no hacker this it's not a scam it is a reliable source it is a, a a movement a organization that is up and coming so again if you would like to look more into that i'm leaving that link down below so you can check it out but i do just want to encourage you guys like i said make sure you're doing your research you're contributing to the cause somehow whether that's donating whether that's praying whether that's walking whether that's showing up to protest whatever it is whether it's having conversations with your family having conversations with your church you as a church you know if if wherever you're at if you and your church want to come in together and do something you know we had a couple of people reach out to us and say that they wanted to host a pray test in their neighborhood so if that's something that you want to do feel free to reach out to me it's not hard it's not rocket science um really we're just praying for our city and we're praying for our world so i know that was a lot but i just want to encourage you guys you know make sure that you guys you know we have more power than we think and um i want to thank you guys so much for subscribing and for liking and I really do hope that you enjoyed today's video again I know for me I just wanted to sit down and play with makeup and watch a couple of movies on my laptop and so um, I hope you enjoyed today's video again we're messing with some green and some gold some yellow today so I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started 
All right, we're jumping right into today's makeup tutorial. I'm gonna take my Freeman Feeling Beautiful Hydrating Mask. Y'all know this is my holy grail, I love it. And I'm just gonna massage this into the skin before I lay my makeup so everything goes on smoothly. Just the way I do makeup, I love starting with my brows first. So uh, I fast forwarded this because I know that I've already kind of gone over my brows before. If you want an in-depth tutorial for my eyebrows, just leave a comment down below and I can work on getting that for you guys. Um, but I'm just filling in my eyebrows with brow powder and then cleaning them up with concealer. Again, I really wanted to fast forward this process because I've already posted um, a little bit about my eyebrows in previous videos and today I really just wanted to focus a little bit more on the eye look. So I'm just filling those in and then cleaning up with some concealer. Excuse me y'all, I was trying to find a movie at the same time. <laughs> So after I did my eyebrows, I did start prepping my eyelids for the makeup. I also went in with the e.l.f. putty primer um, to lay my foundation later on to fill in those pores. Then I'm going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the original, the OG, the first one. I'm going to go in with these warm tone browns and I'm just really going to start laying that on the bottom of my eyelid all the way to the top brow bone just so I can get a uh, smooth transition when I start throwing in the greens, the browns, and the other darker colors later on. I'm not too precise when it comes to laying these warm tone browns on the eyelid, um, but I did just want to have something there so when I was blending it wouldn't be too hard and those browns can really back me up and just make the blending process a little bit smoother. Then I'm gonna go in with the darker brow. We're gonna jump right into this thing. Uh, I'm getting a detail brush and I'm really placing this brown specifically where I want it. Uh, so I'm going in again with a more defined brush and where I'm laying the brown down is where I want it to stay. We're gonna blend it out a little bit later, but I'm just placing it down right now so I know kind of where I want this to go because when I first started recording, um, I really didn't know what I was gonna do. I really just turned on the camera and started going. Uh, so I did want to do something with the green, but I just didn't know what yet. So I, again, I'm just placing down the brown exactly where I wanted to and then blended it out. You already know that's my process. Place the color down and then blend it out. Then I'm gonna get another brush and I'm gonna start tapping into the emerald green. Sorry I didn't show you guys. Uh, I just jumped right in, but I'm going to dive into this like foresty army green and really just keeping this um, almost a little bit lower than where I placed the brown. But as you can see, I'm not really blending this out or smoking it out much. I'm really placing it exactly where I want it because I want to do this half cut crease. Um, so I'm placing this green down exactly where I want it and then going back in with that dark uh coffee bean brown and I'm blending that green out just so it can be a little bit smoother and not as harsh. Again, I'm being careful, very careful where I blend it out. I'm not going all over the eye, but just a little over that green so it can blend out a little bit better. And then you already know this process, tap into the green, blend it out with the brown, tap into the green, blend it out with the brown. And so I kind of just go back and forth here. Also, if you notice the brushes I'm using, they're not very like big fluffy brushes. They are very precise and very flat, very dense. And that's because I want wherever I lay this green and these browns down is exactly where I want it to go. So these kind of brushes help me have more control. And uh, so I can make sure I get the color to go where I want it to versus just blending it all out and then losing all of the color transition and everything.
If you feel a little intimidated by the greens, I would definitely recommend maybe trying this with some warm tones, some nudes, some browns. If this green is a little intimidating, um, maybe just try this same process just with different colors, but I really did actually enjoy this look and I had a good time playing around with it. At the end I finally grab a fluffy brush and I'm kind of just blending those browns and those greens that I did at the top I'm blending them together so they could just have a nice smoke at the top then I'm gonna go in with my fit me concealer I really love the fit me concealers when it comes to creating a cut crease just because they are so smooth, easy to glide on. Uh, you wanna grab a flat, dense brush as well for this because again, where you put that concealer down is where you want it to stay and where you want it to stick. And so all the colors on top can go on smoothly. So I'm just doing that here, really kinda, really kinda just making my roadmap for where I wanna go and then filling it in with concealer whenever I'm done. You want to make sure you take your time on this process because you want them to be as even as possible. I did want to leave these clips in for you guys because I want you guys to see kind of in fast pace how, um, how precise and how concentrated I really was on getting those cut creases sh um, sharp and even. I really recommend people to do half cut creases first before they do a full on cut crease because I know for me, a full on cut crease was kind of intimidating the first time I did it. And um, half cut creases are just so easy, but you know, whatever works for you. So when I do blend out that cut crease, I am making sure that I'm only, I'm not bringing it all the way from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner of my eye. I'm really just keeping it in the front because that's where, I mean, it's a half cut crease. You only do half of your eye. Then I'm going to go in with that forest green and continue the matte forest green and continue to blend it to the front as you can see I'm blending in the bottom just a little bit closer because I want that smooth uh, blending effect and then also when laying that green down again with that precise brush I kind of lost a little bit of the sharpness of the cut crease so I'm just going in with a little more concealer and making sure that that's lined up perfectly also, I don't know if you noticed, but in this tutorial, I actually did do my eyebrows a little bit thinner just because I do want, I did want as much room as possible to have all these colors and the eyeshadows go down smoothly. So in this tutorial, I actually did do my eyebrows just a little bit thinner just so I can have as much room as possible to work with. Again, grabbing that green and starting to blend it out from the corners in, not all the way, but just about halfway. And me personally, I just like blending that color uh, on my eyelid just a little bit closer to the middle. Then I'm gonna go in with this forest green, beautiful glittery pigment that is in the Jaclyn Hill palette. Uh, it's right next to the uh, matte green that we just used at the beginning. I actually only used two palettes for this and they were actually both of the Jaclyn Hill palettes. As you can see, I'm taking this gold. That's what I'm gonna apply at the front of the cut crease. We're gonna apply that gold and it's gonna blend into the forest greens that we have going on. Of course me, you guys know me, I wanted to be extra. So I grabbed some NYC glitter and I put it down on top of the gold and then still wasn't enough for me, <laughs> go figure. So I grabbed this Urban Decay 
glitter that is silver i didn't do a lot of it obviously because it was silver i couldn't find my gold one i didn't do a lot because it is silver but i just wanted to give it a little more mm, you know you know how that goes then i'm gonna go in with my nyx liner and just start creating my wing i wanted to make sure i had a wing for this eye look just because it was so dramatic and i really did feel like just having a bomb wing today Next, I'm going to go on some mascara and just apply that evenly along my lashes to prep it for the falsies that we're going to put on later. And then just repeated those steps on the other eye. Majority of my eyes are done, so I'm just going to go with foundation and continue to lay everything else down so I can do the bottom um, eyeshadow and mascara. Again, not really focusing on my foundation routine because you guys have seen it a couple of times, so I really just wanted to fast forward this part so we can get to the finished eye look. I did do some contour, and I set it with my powders, of course. put it on my falsies, applied my false lashes, and I did end up doing the bottom eyeshadow and the bottom lashes. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys liked it and enjoyed it as much as I did. I know this is something different. I haven't done something like this in a while. So for me, even playing with my makeup and getting out of my comfort zone, getting out of the neutrals <laughs> and the browns and the nudes, you know, it was, it was good for me too. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you would like to recreate this look, make sure you tag me so I can repost it. And I don't know, you know, maybe I inspire you, you inspire me we inspire each other we inspire other people you know what i'm saying so thank you guys for watching again don't forget to like comment share and subscribe comment down below let your girl know what you want to see next okay again last video was like a purple pink look today's video is like an army green gold look so comment down below and let me know what color we want to play with next i'm gonna be honest with y'all this whole look was only like two palettes and I didn't have a lot, a ton of greens to choose from. So again, whatever you have, don't go and spend a whole bunch of money on a brand new palette that you're probably never going to use again. Use what you have and that's all you really need. You know what I'm saying? Why well, do the most? So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Let's just continue to be better. Okay, let's continue to be better. Let's stand up for what is right. Let's stand up for other people when they probably can't stand up for themselves. And I hope that this video encourages you guys. And I'll see you in the next.